Hey guys, ever wonder what to put your camera on while you're filming a haircut, a face shape, or just a product that you're trying to show for your people on YouTube? Well, today I finally found the perfect tripod that was very inexpensive. I think it was around $35 to $38, which wasn't that bad. And I found it at Target, and this is not an ad for Target. I just want to share where I found it. Maybe I'll put the link below so then it's easy for you guys to find it. But to help me, to help you, please hit subscribe and hit the little bell to get the notifications when I upload new videos. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, what's up? Lady Von Barber here at Murphy Barber Shop. So today I'm going to share with you guys a special purchase I got. I have here is a 66 inch camera recorder tripod. I'm really excited to share this because for the longest time I was kind of like questioning if I should share my haircuts, my face shaving techniques and stuff, but finally I'm going to take that step on and start sharing with you guys haircuts, beard trims, and face shaving. I've been wanting to get one for a while now and I finally just took the plunge. I got this one at Target. This is non-pay ad, just so everyone knows, gotta clear that out. I went to Target today in Oregon. They have this one and it seems like it'll do a really good job and it can hold heavy cameras, which I really need because the one I use, open up and see what it looks like. So here goes nothing. Oh cool, you guys, look at this. It comes in a special case. This is one of the reasons I got it. go to any classes or anything if I want film on a tripod this is going to be really handy instead of having to grab it instead I can grab it by this and it looks more professional that way it'll be nice to just take him from the shop all right so here we go unwrapping it and it's all silver with a little bit of chrome look oh there goes the instructions And so, you can see here, you have your things to open it. Oh, and then it kind of adjusts itself, I guess. And then the second one, you get that. So the second one up, allows the link. There's some type of hook. I'm not exactly sure what this hook is for, but I can definitely see what that is all about on the box. So here we have it. And you can readjust down here. Make it a little bit shorter. There's a little um, thing to make sure you have it correctly on. And this one, oh, there we go. I believe this is to tighten that. And then, up, and there we go. Go up, go down. That's pretty cool. And then this part that came off, so this will be where the camera sits on. So you want to adjust it and screw that up. And then eventually once your camera is placed right there and you have it screwed in and tightened right there, then you would take it there. There we go. And then make sure the latch is back on and then you can film. So, I think this is pretty cool. I think it is a flimsier way, but there's also a handle that you can hold your camera and make sure you can place it around, which is pretty nice. There's also a, a thing that to make sure once the camera's elevated on straight, that's a pretty cool piece. And then there's also another one right there to make sure this tripod is all even. 
But for the most part, I think that looks pretty cool. And the last part is just to test and make sure my camera can fit on there. And this and that, and then you can control it and then tighten it. So it won't move. And then this part is to move that. Pretty cool. And so this is what I will be filming on. So there you have it you guys. My camera is now on my tripod and it works totally fine. So I can't wait to share more tutorials on haircuts, beard trims, face shaving, neck shaves, straight razor, feather razor. You guys are going to see it all soon. So thank you for watching. Bye guys. All right guys, so I got this 